Hi everybody, this is Techno Freak here. I'm going to be showing you how to do a command line install today. This is all in still shots due to the fact that I was running this in virtual machine so I could get these still shots. Um, in this first picture you'll see where you select your language. This is a pretty straightforward install. Not very complicated at all. I do this on most systems. Confirming your keyboard, I usually don't let it auto detect because I've had issues with that. I just go through and select my normal keyboard, English, US. I just want to talk a little bit more. These, these pictures are pretty self-explanatory of what I, how it goes. Um, like for the host here, host name, I, I put my own in. You got your selecting of your mirror for which uh, repository you want to download from. Uh, but anyway, a little bit more on this whole installing of a command line. The advantages of, of doing a command line install are huge. First off, you can put in only what you want. Now how we do this is we download what's called a mini ISO. And you can get this for a lot of systems. It's just a, a real base system that doesn't already have Unity installed, doesn't have all their other garbage installed. And here's the advantage. One, yes, it's you got to do some work in terminal. But the big advantage is you don't you don't start out with a Unity based system. Uh, the advantage of what that is you don't have to uninstall, uninstall it and mess your system up. You start with a blank slate, you get a kernel installed, base systems, and just enough so you can run from a terminal. Then, once that's installed, you start out with just a terminal. Now from there, we build up our system. Um, the easiest one I found is to install the Mate Desktop. The Mate Desktop is very fast and efficient when it doesn't have all of the um, Linux Mint crap installed in it. And when I say a base system, I mean it has nothing. You have to install everything. Um, if you will, like at, towards the end here in the video, you'll see where I install the um, software center, um, Jockey GK, GTK for third-party drivers um, and with all of that what you saw right here was going on is I always get an error when I'm downloading because you manually select your options that I only use Wi-Fi so I get an error and all I do is click back 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 until I get back to where I can restart it and you saw in the previous picture where I selected the latest kernel and then on the last picture I had where I select to install all drivers not just specific because that gives a full driver list which makes it easier for doing it on any system I don't worry about that because when you do a cleanup you get rid of any of the unneeded drivers um, but you'll see how easy it really is to do a command line install. Yes, it takes longer. Um, don't worry if you see a blue screen or a purple screen like I got here behind the background you can see because I get it where when I'm doing an install I get um, a purple screen that will appear for several minutes. It's because it's doing an install in the background. And when that happens, you just let it run. Um, now you can see here where I'm, I'm going to go for a clean update. Now the update's done. Now I'm going to go in and edit the source list. And you can see the bottom line there where I added the Mate Desktop sources. And that's Control All, Control O to save, and then Enter, and then Control X to exit. Now I'm going to install the mate keyring and then update it again. Then I install the mate core. 
Once that's done, then I install the desktop environment for Mate. Once that's done, oh, here's where you got the HDD temp. I never, I never enable it. Some of you may want to. Then you have to install XINIT. That is so you can start X as you're getting your desktop actually to run. Now here you can see where we're in the actual desktop. Then I install the software center, Firefox, and the Jockey G GTK. And then from that point, I just install all my normal codexes and all the other stuff and you got a complete simple base system with no unity um, if you can find links for adding your um, PPA for other desktops you can use any desktop this way um, steps are pretty basic and straightforward and it's very sweet hope you enjoyed this video I'll be making a few more if I get enough requests on doing a command line install and as always please rate and subscribe this was Techno Freak.